Surprisingly, the best way to reach the more tranquil Japan is by riding one of the world's most advanced, reliable and fast railway services. The bullet train may not be romantic, but using technology to escape technology does have its own appeal. The more southerly region of Kinki, on the main island of Honshu, provides a sharp focus on the ancient capital of Nara, the port city of Osaka, and the cultural hub of Kyoto. Nara was founded in 710 by the emperor Kanmu, who placed politics with the somewhat higher disciplines of art, linguistics, calligraphy, and theology solidly on the agenda. Indeed, Nara was the cradle of the Buddhist Shinto meld that still flourishes today. Of course, to architects and landscape designers of any era, the archipelago's regular earthquakes are hardly all they're cracked up to be. But anger over the unpreventable is futile, a notion that this long-term expat seems to have warmly embraced. <laughs> Apparently, Nara natives lead by example, and no doubt Grandpa's dreaming of his days at sea, for Japan truly has a maritime tradition. Osaka and the bond between the people and the water that surrounds them goes far beyond territorial, spiritual, emotional, or even moral concerns. The sea is survival. Entering the ultramodern architecture of Osaka Aquarium is not dissimilar to a walk through the state treasury. For without this rich mother load of produce, Japan surely would have remained a backwater. Few places around the globe could hold not just one, but two of the world's largest fish, the majestic whale shark. The fish closely following under are a species of remora, that make their living eating the shark's leftovers. The irony is that this shark feeds its massive bulk on the smallest of sea morsels. We chanced upon Kai enjoying what could only be described as hors d'oeuvres. Whilst Osaka is known as the city of castles, the Boraku National Theatre provides a fascinating puppet performance with its roots dating back to 16th century Korea that just shouldn't be missed. As you can see, some things just never change. Leaving Osaka on a more modest train, the next stop is beautiful Kyoto, which was the capital for over 1,000 years. Kyoto, I think, has a lot of character, and um, it's more the Japan a foreigner expects to see when they come to Japan, rather than the high-rises and the cities. Having 20% of the country's historical sites, time does disappear. What else could it be but fish?
most of the traditional cuisine you will find that the dishes don't have sauces mixed with them. They come as an accompaniment. So like many things Japanese, it's pure, it's simple, but it's unadulterated, so you're getting the very pure taste of food. You can mix it if you wish, or you can decide to change the flavour. That's really the, the crux of Japanese cuisine. So there is great beauty to be found in modern-day Japan, isn't it?